uh, of course, uh, we're linked to this Roddy Piper thing. Uh, Ronda Rousey, of course, did uh, uh, dedicate her match, her whole 34-second match, which you can watch on Twitter video. And uh, <laughs> but uh, on Twitter video, uh, uh, but she dedicated it to Rowdy Roddy Piper. And um, and uh, uh, and through all that, Dana White saying uh, uh, really kind of attacking pro wrestling around that, which is one I think very in poor taste because somebody freaking died, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it wasn't great timing on his. Well, uh, it 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 didn't have anything to do with that directly. What what the comment was? Someone had tweeted at Dana White like, "I really want to stay up and watch the Rousey fight, but I'd rather watch WWE for nine ninety nine." So, and then Dana just responded, like, I understand, but you don't, that, that's how much you pay for fake shit. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, that, I, that, was, I, that was the whole comment. I don't, I don't think Dana White really meant anything by it because he's profited a lot off of fake wrestlers and mm-hmm. he's about to do it again whenever CM Punk has a match, in a, a fight in UFC. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I would contend, in my personal opinion, uh, I feel like the UFC. I'm I'm starting to pay more attention to UFC now than I ever have been. Mm-hmm. Not because of CM Punk or anything, but just because I feel like they've made more of a point of taking some tropes from wrestling and putting it into their world. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense, certainly. I feel like they, they tend they tend to tell more stories, I guess, in a sense, uh, as opposed to. You know, uh, yeah, and it's it's leg- it's legitimate or real or whatever you want to call it, but it still takes a lot from wrestling nowadays, and it's that that makes me want to watch it more than anything else. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, I I don't really take Dana's comments too seriously. I I think someone pointed out uh, uh, I saw on Twitter. Uh, this is the same guy that also said that women's MMA would never happen in the <laughs> UFC. So, you know, and it's now the main event. Yeah. So I, it's now I, his only draw. It is a, is a, is a yeah, pretty much. So well, yeah, because people were saying about how um, they they waited all night till about one a.m. when the, the actual main event started, and then last thirty five seconds, and it was like all the other stuff was just like eh, whatever, you know. What, and that, which again is place. which again is funny. I'm sorry, Bobby. Uh, which oh, sorry. again is funny because we're sitting there wondering if the like the like everybody talking all night long amongst our fake wrestler friends that we were at a show and at Denny's afterwards was oh did the fight happen yet? Did the fight happen yet? And we get in the car. It was like oh yeah, here it is. And then I hear Katie in the back saying, "Well, that was interesting." And I'm like, "What?" She's like, "I just watched the fight." I'm like, "Where'd you find the fight at?" Twitter video. <laughs> When you're yeah, uh, charging seventy dollars something that I can catch a recap on Twitter video, I think your business model might have a I, problem. I understand that, mm-hmm. and I get that. But like, like Ronda Rousey has got me. I think has been the, one of the main reasons that has got me interested in UFC. Certainly, and, and these quick matches that she's having, these you know less than a minute knockouts, you know that she's uh, and and various other you know ways that she's achieving victory. That's telling a story. She's very much like a Brock Lesnar in a sense, mm-hmm. you know, and, and people could contend. I think there's some wrestling fans that would probably contend, hey, I don't want to see Brock Lesnar dominate a guy for fucking, you know, eight minutes and win, you know? Right. I, she's, I, I, she's female Baron Corbin. Oh, God. Oh, no. no, Bobby, no. <laughs> no, I mean, like, as she's far just as, like, quickly ending, like, matches. But like a she's, but like, her, yes. The eventual match with Cyborg, she's just going to end of days her, and it's going to be the greatest thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping that – because I, I went to a Buffalo Wild Wings on Saturday night to watch the whole UFC show because we wanted to see Rousey. Um, I was really hoping that she would just try to reenact the fight from They Live as much as possible because I – like th- there was a lot of trash talk coming from uh, Beth Correa, and Ronda Rousey really didn't talk trash at all. And I will give Beth Correa credit. She was very intense in that face to face. Yes. Like I was like, wow, that lady's got anger issues. But then Ronda Ronda Rousey just, you know, thirty five. And 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 Mike, you mentioned like like that Ronda wasn't necessarily talking trash, but she was in in a sense almost cutting promos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. And and that's the thing that's like that's the thing that's been happening in UFC nowadays that hasn't happened in the past. In my opinion, 
Like, well, it's it, been a it lot all of... started because of Lesnar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It all started because of Lesnar. Like, and maybe to a lesser extent, uh, Anderson Silva. But when Brock Lesnar was in UFC, everyone.